Howdy. Well, after having my uh, e-bike batteries spill out on the road this summer, I uh, decided to cave in and get a Pelican case. I got the 1200 case. Uh, I started with the, I guess it's pretty much the smallest one they have. It might be a smaller one than that, but... I uh, just wanted to basically see what you could put in it. Um, this one I got for like 30 bucks used off of Amazon. Still has the guy's initials and stuff in it, but it uh, doesn't show much in the way of uh, scratches and dirt marks or anything like that. Just got a few scuffs, not a big deal. Uh, the pluck foam was already pre plucked, so I couldn't really. Um, pluck it the way I wanted so I just basically took it out I left the top and bottom piece thing is solid I'll say that much it's a really nice case uh, my basically my idea is to get a bunch of batteries and just have little cases like this where I can just slide them on the bike with some kind of railing system and lock them down and I will drill a hole on the side and put a connector It'll still be sealed because I'll epoxy the, uh, the connector in. But um, I got my cod pack, the one that uh, the three cells went bad in it. Uh, they actually do fit in here pretty good. This is usually would be 16, I mean, well, 6S, 6S, and 4S for 49 volts. But since I lost three cells, it's less than that. So I'm thinking maybe I might um, fill this case and just make them all 6S. So if they do fit, once the connectors are in, you tuck in the balance leads. The lid goes on nice and tight. So you can get a 10 amp hour battery in this thing. It's a tight fit, but it does fit. And it uh, most sure beats having them drop off on the road. It scared the crap out of me. I thought for sure these batteries were done. This is going pretty fast at the time, and the, the bag spun around a couple of times on the road. But uh, you get them in there. That won't, won't close because there's wires in the way. I did have this tucked in nice and neat. What's going on now? does lock and uh, the batteries are tight in there oh it's got some weight to it though but it's not uh, they're not jiggling around they're nice and firm in there so my idea basically I might uh, take a little bit more of this foam off to uh, so it's not such a quick uh, qu uh, tight I don't want too much pressure on the cells because it'll put uh, stress on the welds that I've had problems with already. So I gotta resolder every cell eventually. Um, this is the pack where all the three cells went bad, uh, bad in another video. So I'll probably end up ordering all three cells. I found a supplier in Canada. And I might as well, since I run around 60 or 70 volts on the bike anyway, I'll, uh, I'll grab uh, six more for this side and make it six, six, and six give me a little over 68 volts um, then I just take them out put them on the charger I'm gonna replace all the leads they're all getting old and uh, we're good to go that will fit a 40 well it'll be when I'm done with it, it'll it be a 68 volt pack um, at 10 amp hours so you know it's a good deal for 30 bucks I'm gonna have to do some research to uh, see how some of the other e-bikers are um, setting up the railing system to slip these off. I'd like to have more than one, or have more than one installed on the bike. Then I can just basically unplug the one and when it's spent and plug it into the next, or run them all in, in um, parallel. We'll see. But um, the 1200 case will fit a 40 volt 10 amp hour battery, which if you break it down, like if this was a solid block, it would be like this high. It would not fit. So it does work. If you reconfigure them three three cells high, three by six. So cool. Let's see. Model 
over there. Later.